What's going on guys? Welcome back to Sector for Nerds. I'm Ryan Brower and in my adventures on YouTube I have stumbled across a video called The Chosen One. We can pretty much all take a guess who that's referring to. I started watching it and within like the first 30 seconds I was already hooked and I'm like okay I have to react to this with the channel because this looks so good. So I don't, I'm assuming this is going to be like a like the entire journey of Anakin from his time as you know a boy to when he's Vader. So I'm very curious to see what this is all about. This video has 6.9 million views. I'm assuming this is going to be really good, so let's check this out. All right, here we go. That was from the Udapa arc. You've lied to me. How many other lies have I been told by the council? I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Ever since I've known you, you've been searching for a life greater than that of an ordinary Jedi. A life of significance, of conscience. Gosh, this is great. This is like telling the whole story of Anakin within, within like 10 minutes. The Jedi are taking it over. That was on Mortis. Henceforth, you shall be known as 
Darth Vader. Gosh, the music gets you right in the feels, too. Anakin's story is legit a tragedy, but it also then turns into redemption. such a nerd. Foresaw it. Remember your training, Anakin. Trust your instincts. You will find another way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That that one hits you right in the feels. Holy crap. Like this video told the entire story of Anakin within less than 10 minutes, and it almost had me crying. First of all, Hero Fan Productions, thank you guys so much for making this video, because this was freaking awesome. I don't, I'm hoping I don't get copyrighted for the music or anything like that. You boys just trying to do a reaction video. Um, I'm reading in the description here. You guys gotta read this. So, in this description, it says, uh, Hero Fan Productions wrote, I've never done a Star Wars video before, so why not make my first edit about one of the most iconic characters in history, Darth Vader. The character we all fell in love with from the minute we heard his first breath, and the hero who inspired us all. 
As a person who loves making tributes, I wanted to make an in-depth look into the life of Anakin Skywalker. The reason for his the reason for his fall was so much more than preventing a loved one from dying. It was his self-doubt, his losses, and the need to control his circumstances. It was also his frustration, anger, confusion fusion towards his own counsel who did not trust him or back him most of the time and the slow but steady manipulation from Palpatine which drew him closer and closer to the darkness. I mean also Mace Windu was kind of a dick as well that also could explain things. Anakin was the hero, the villain and the victim of his own story. The man from the light and dark, the one who brought balance to the force, the one they called the chosen one. Hope you enjoy. Holy crap. And the song was Tessa from Transformers Age of Extinction. IKR question mark. Great song from a not so good movie. LOL. <laughs> well, I've only seen the first Transformers movie and personally I wasn't that big of a fan so I guess I can't be the judge. You know, when it comes to Star Wars, especially the first, you know, nine episodes, it's been all about the Skywalkers. It's been about Luke and Anakin, specifically those two. And then as you get into the newer trilogy, it's about Ben. But but uh, when it comes to Anakin, like, I mean, he has the most tragic of stories where he he's born and essentially is a slave since, you know, a ch being a child and then going from that to being a Jedi, but then his watching his mother die. And it's like every time something every time something good happened in Anakin's life, it's like something far worse would happen because he would become a Jedi and then he, his mother would die. And then he takes on an apprentice in Ahsoka Tano and then later on he has to watch her walk away because, you know, the council turned their back on her, which it, it, it's a very true statement. At the And Anakin alludes to that when you heard him say, you know, what choice did we give her? At the same time, it was Ahsoka's decision, and Ahsoka does say that it was her decision, but Anakin, in his mind, feels like the council is responsible for what happened. And then whenever something dark would happen in Anakin's life, he would always go to Palpatine because he always considered Palpatine as his friend, as his mentor, and little did he know that he was the Sith Lord. You know, I will admit, it took me a while, but I think I've I've started to realize that, you know, the Jedi weren't as, you know, perfect as I as I thought they were. And obviously they were nowhere near the sense of perfect, but the Jedi are supposed to represent the good in the galaxy. It wasn't until season five of Clone Wars when they framed Ahsoka for blowing up the temple and then Ventress tells Anakin, my master abandoned me. That's exactly what you did to her, you and your precious Jedi Order. It was kind of that moment where I started to realize maybe the Jedi aren't as much of the peacekeepers as as we thought they were. They're supposed to, they're not as, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess not as good as we, as we thought they were. Like, obviously they still represent what is right. And it's by no means does that mean that you should be a Sith because the Sith represent everything that's wrong with the galaxy. But when it comes to the Jedi, you look at, you know, that moment, and then even more so in season seven, when Trace and Rafa told their story of what happened, what, you know, Luminara said to them, it just made me go like, well, screw you, Luminara, like, they just lost their parents, and you're gonna do nothing to help them, like, you, uh, you know, it just kind of gets you frustrated, and it, it does make you think, like, yeah, you know, the Sith are evil, and the Jedi, the Jedi are nowhere near evil, but the Jedi were consumed by the dark side. And Yoda admits to this in Rebels. And that's another thing that had me going too, is when you watch Rebels, like Yoda says that, you know, the Jedi were consumed by the dark side and that he was, for a long time, he was afraid. Anakin loses everything and, and Vader hates everyone that Anakin used to love and he wants to destroy everyone like Obi-Wan and Ahsoka because they're living memories of everything that Vader once was and what he once had. It's kind of something that Dave Filoni has alluded to uh, many times before. Um, but it's only the love of his son, Luke, that can bring him back. And uh, obviously, as you see in Return of the Jedi, and as you see in this video here by Hero Fan Productions, that that's exactly what happened. And what's so great about the moment when Anakin tells Luke, you know, help me take this mask off, let me look on you with my own eyes, it's essentially having Anakin getting closure for his character before he dies. Oh my gosh, you guys, this was such a great video. Once again, Hero Productions, you guys did a great job with this. I'm noticing here, uh, you guys have another video uh, called uh, Kenobi. 
So I, I'm going to see, I'm so clearly you guys have done several of these kinds of videos. So I think if we're able to, I think that's going to be our next reaction video from Hero Fan Productions is of Kenobi. So yeah, that's just going to wrap us up here today. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, like us on Facebook, and I will see you guys next time.